Hey, it's your brother D on the VBB, world famous Venice Beach Boardwalk. And today we're talking with uh, my brother man, skater Christian Falstrup. Christian, say what's up to the people. What's up, guys? How you doing? It's a good day. Glad to be here. Absolutely, brother man. It's a beautiful, blessed day. Sun is out. People are out. Venice Beach Boardwalk. I mean, what more could you ask for? You know what I'm saying? So, hey, Christian, man. So I caught you out there uh, doing your thing on the, on the skateboard. What inspired you to become a, a skater? I mean, I've been skating from a pretty young age. I used to go to skateboard camp once a year, this place called Woodward West, and just a lot of my friends were, were doing it at the time, so it was just a way to be part of a community, and I think that kind of extends itself here as well. You know, it's ultimately the relationships you form through skateboarding and the culture around it, too. It's, uh, yeah, it's an amazing, amazing thing to be part of. That sounds really awesome, man. So, like, that was kind of a way for you and your friends when you were growing up to bond. That was like a bonding activity right there. That was the sport. That was the thing. So let me ask you about, like, the whole learning process. Because, look, Christian, I ain't going to lie. I've been on a skateboard maybe twice my whole life. Um, You know what I mean? Second time, I fell so hard on my ass. It was just like, you know what? I don't know. (laughs) And so I couldn't get over that hump. But for you, like, when you were were growing up and learning how to skate, like, like, what was that whole process like for you? Well, I mean, there's people you, you, people usually at the skate park that you can look up to and you get inspiration from their tricks. And then ultimately, it's this process of iterative persistence. You know, you a lot of trial and error, you start to, like, learn some tricks. And all, all, honestly, a lot of the process is, is through sort of iterative failure. But eventually, you get closer and closer to actually landing the trick itself. And when you do, it's the most satisfying feeling. And then eventually it gets kind of ingrained in your in your muscle memory, right? And so it just. But I think that's what's beautiful about skateboarding is it kind of teaches you resilience and persistence. And I think that's ultimately the mindset that kind of goes into it, you know, through iteration. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and so a lot of trial and error, and just and uh, and a lot of. And I was going to say, and, and, and a lot of uh, bruised uh, uh, yeah. elbows and knees. I mean, that's uh, there you go. I mean, that's. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying, you know, the fact that you have that, uh, 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 not only is resilience, but that, that's sort of like, hey, I'm just going to scrape, you know, wipe myself off and go again, man. And that's, that's definitely part of it. Do you know of a show, this, it's, it's on Chive TV that shows all these people doing all these kinds of stunts, all kinds of things. And they got like, occasionally I've seen skateboarders uh, doing stuff too that they feature. Some amazing stuff. But then they'll also show some of those falls, you know, to show when people like, you know, try to do something and like, and like oh man. And every time I see that, I'm like... Yeah, that's probably why I'm not <laughs> a skateboarder. But you, you, I mean, you got a high pain tolerance or, or what? I mean, there's a mindset. I guess the mindset is the inevitability of the fall. And ultimately, there are also techniques on how you fall. I mean, I've, I broke my hand. I've had spine issues from a variety of extreme sports, honestly, as well. So I've, um, I've learned through, you know, through my own mistakes as well on how best to fall and the mindset going into it as well. I think there's, yeah, the inevitability is pretty key. But also, like, you know, you don't necessarily need to go for the biggest jump right off the bat. You know, you can, you can ease into it. You know, you, you, you take smaller drops and, um, you know, leading up to it and, and, and uh, eventually you get to a place through persistence and that iteration that, I, that I'm mentioning where you can start to take on bigger jumps and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, there's, uh, that's just part of it, you know. That's just honestly a part of, part of the sport. And uh, but it, te- it definitely teaches some resilience, for sure. Yes, brother, man. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll say that. I mean, you're talking about broken bones and stuff like that, and keep coming back. You, you gotta love it. So, hey, Christian, why do you come to uh, Venice now? Venice has got an awesome uh, skate park here. Uh, what about Venice? What about the the vibe of Venice? What what is it about Venice that makes you uh, come and uh, do stuff here? Well, I mean, first of all, you got this. You got the beach itself, right? So a breeze coming in. There's beautiful views. And ultimately, the eclectic culture of Venice in itself. You meet all sorts of interesting characters. And, um, and it's just a fun skate park, you know, like taking the snake um, through the bowl there. It's, you know, I have kind of a cruiser board, hybrid cru- cruiser board set up that um, makes it just a really fun time. And the people you meet are awesome. And um, so, yeah, it's just, it's just a, a great community to be a part of. Awesome, brother, man. Yeah, it, it does sound like it. And it looks like that. Everybody's just having a great time doing their thing out here, skating. And um, uh, do you have any, like, any videos of, of you skating and stuff online, any stuff like that that, that, that you're doing? I don't, honestly. Uh, I mean, I used to, when I was younger, make certain skate videos and whatnot. These days, it's kind of just a, it's a hobby. It's a pastime. And uh, so I don't personally have any videos online. I'm living the sort of in, in the ephemeral existence of it, perhaps, where it's more about the experience itself. But 
I mean, maybe that's motivation for me to do some more capturing. So we'll see. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, you never know. You, I mean, remember the name? Christian uh, Falstrup. He might have some stuff uh, uh, stuff later on up online uh, for you all to check out. Um, hey, Christian, thank you so much, man, for sharing with us your passion for skating and, and, and uh, with the audience. And uh, I really appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Hey, guys, that was another episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we will catch you next time. Be blessed. <laughs> I know you want it. I know you want it. I know you want it. You're a good girl. The way you grab me, must wanna get nasty. Go ahead, get it and then baby, my boy. I know you want it. I know you want it. I know you want it. You're a good girl. Yeah. Just wanna get nasty, nice moves, and then hate these blood.